Yo, 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 real quick, before we get into the video, I launched a new Patreon. Thanks to everybody that's a member. My members are right here. Thank you guys. You're awesome. Bunch of cool incentives. It'll be a link in the description. Check that out after the video. Let's get it. Anime jumpers are something that I like to talk about a lot. I mean, y'all have seen both my main channel and this channel mainly on my main channel, but, but I talk about a plethora of animes. But the thing that I like to see most, and I'm pretty sure that all of y'all can agree with me, isn't plot, isn't character development, hell no. It's making, making, making hands. And that's why today we're here to talk about some of the most devastatingly devious anime jumpings. But we're gonna try to focus on some new anime this time around. I mean, we've talked about all the classics, all the old stuff, but it's new anime coming out every single day. Just like this anime right here, the one that I thought and said was the best anime out, but then four episodes later, I found out that shit is garbage. I'm not gonna hold you, but we have to talk about the first episode of Ninja Kamui, cause Jesus twice. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Ninja Kamui had some devious ass jumpings, but they're not regular jumpings. Oh, no, no, no. It's a subclass of jumping, the reverse jump. See, our main character here, he was living a modest life, pretending to be a farmer, pretending to be somebody that didn't have a care in the world. Someone that could just live with their wife and child on this farm in the middle of nowhere like Curse the Cowardly Dog. However, these right here, these ninja, they had different plans. And there's two parts to this. Hey, honey, can you can you check out what's downstairs? I, I just heard something, but I don't really know what it is. Come on, man. I'm trying to get my beauty rest, man. I got to get up at four in the morning to go outside and with this motherfucking crops. I mean, it's really just a meth lab, but man, that's besides the point, man. I still got to get up at four in the morning. Honey, please go check on it. Well, I'm not going to pop this for you anymore. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm already up. Don't even worry about it. So my man walked downstairs, you know, he got his average dad fit on, white t-shirt, pajama pants. Man, he walked downstairs thinking that, you know, maybe it's a raccoon in the living room or something. Hell no. My walked downstairs and saw motherfucking red beams in his window like a JFK sniper. All right, I ain't gonna lie, the JFK sniper definitely didn't use a red beam. But he did shoot that nigga from long range, and that's the first thing I thought of. But my bro walked downstairs and saw with alien eyes looking in his window. So boom, they break in. Bro comes straight up, try to cut his ass. He grab his arm, huh? Twist it. Cut this nigga. Then make he, make he cut this dude head off. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Editor, you have to censor all the blood and gore, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> Cause uh, YouTube is definitely not letting me get away with this. So bro is down here, Mickey makeup and everybody. He done took one sword off a dude and started killing everybody else with it. Bro hit this nigga with a roundhouse into a wall. So we go to run upstairs. Bro hit this nigga with the Man, he put two joints in his neck. This motherfucker gave him a tracheotomy. His eyes is red as hell, bro. He is not off the side. I'm not gonna hold you. So bro go upstairs. He like, all right, who the is in my motherfucking house? And that's exactly what I would have been thinking too. Cause I mean, who the hell is in here, bro? You got me in here off the mother eye. Y'all in here, you don't murder that. Hold on, who the fuck? So bro look in there, bro. And he realized that his wife thumb packed up a good amount of these, but she on the ground holding her baby bleeding out. Bro in the goddamn room talking about, she put up a good fight. <laughs> and I gave her that good pipe. Yeah, that's right. I hit it. And then I quit it. And by quit it, I mean I murdered a dumbass. So bro was mad as shit, bro. But he got a fucking sword in his back right now. I'm not gonna lie. But he uses ancient super ninja secret. I, I really have no idea exactly where he got it from because I dropped this shit once it got ass. <laughs> but that don't even matter, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. The latter half of this, some gabado, basura. It's kind of garbage. However, the first half is fire, and I would say still watch the anime. It's still really good. It just got ass later. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, editor, play a clip from the last fight. It, what, what type of animation is this shit? Trash. Anyways, after his wife got killed and he faked his own death, he ends up going to this hospital. Now, they all think that this dude is dead. However, he's not. This nigga was faking it. He woke up in the hospital, bro, with this ancient ninja secret, and he wanted revenge. I mean, 
This dude was not going for none of that shit. Nary, none of, none of that shit. So instead of letting these dudes, you know, pack him up, pack his wife up, he decided that he was gonna wake up and beat the shit out of niggas. So he in a wheelchair, bro. This dude done wheeled himself all the way to the rooftop because he knows that these ninjas are coming to finish the job. However, he's not gonna be the one that's getting finished. He's gonna do the finishing. Pause. Now we all find out at this point that, you know, his wife and kid and everybody, they had these mask on. They weren't really who they said he was, bro. But this motherfucker done put this damn spike in his shoulder. I don't know what he's doing, but now he can walk all of a sudden, bro. They should have gave this to Stephen Hawkins. I'm just saying. I know y'all probably feel bad. I made a Stephen Hawkins joke, but that nigga was on Epstein list. Fuck him. So this dude going straight crazy, huh? Yeah, we playing. We keep sling, sling, sling. Bro, out here cutting niggas like Zoro with the blade. I'm not going to hold you. Oh my god Bro did they just shoot cables into this So he used the dude's body Pull him in Oh I know is this doing juices right now Oh hell no this dude got chakra bro He just did some shadow And cut every ninja's head off On this roof Hold on Try to run with the gun Come here Mickey Smash your ass in the ground Out here looking like Fry from Futurama Redhead so this dude is mad oh my god he's so calmly and effortlessly cutting these dudes i'm not gonna hold you bro this don't need us on pock toe motherfucker could have did this with any type of regular ass blade motherfucker got the sasuke from naruto blade right now so he go to pick this big ass spear up oh hold on what is he about to do with this nigga is this a is that a javelin is this motherfucker about to do track and field oh nah he's just gonna use it to impale everybody and put them all in this fucking elevator Jesus Christ, this dude is different. This is one of the most diabolical reverse jumpings I ever seen. Look how he is murdering him in the elevator, bro. Hey, editor, while he's loop killing all these dudes, make sure you censor it. But also, man, play the elevator music. Because <laughs> he was calmly beating their ass. So he go downstairs, bro. He done punished everybody in this motherfucking hallway, bro. And here dude with the locks. Motherfucker with the dreads. The motherfucker that killed his wife. Boy, bring your bitch ass here. So he go straight at him, huh? Weave, weave. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. They matching right now. Back and forth blows. But bro is too fast with this blade. And what kind of collar does he got on, bro? What is that? This motherfucker got a BDSM collar on, bro. He like that freaky. Oh my God. Bro, use a juice who stabbed him in the stomach. Huh. Bro stabbed him like a dark knight in London, bro. I'm not, oh my God. Impaled him on a wall. Damn. Jugging his ass. Me, 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 me. Bro, this dude stabbing him like he got a shank in prison. Oh my God. Yo, he on the ground looking bad right now. Uh, motherfucker. <laughs> You gonna stab me 18 times, bitch. You think shit sweet out here, motherfucker? Take, take that mask off. Take that mask off like future, nigga. Let me see your face. Oh, hold on. Now put that mask back on. You about ugly as hell. I'm just saying. Now shut your ass up. Kill my mother. What? And just like that, bro, he put that motherfucking blade straight in bro head and paled him for good. Got him out the paint. And that's why we have to talk about Ninja Kamui, one of the craziest and most devious jumpings I've ever seen. God, yeah, 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 damn. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you though. Speaking of new anime, now I have talked about this a little bit, bro, but we couldn't leave this out, bro. It's not a jumping video if we don't talk about Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. We have to talk about the way that Toto and Yuji did this. Mahito, bro. This was devious. I ain't gonna lie. If I was them, I would have put this whole ass on World Star, boy. World Star. Yeah, we on this Mahito ass right now. We on World Star live with it. Kill not him. He thinks shit sweet. So we had to beat his ass. So after Nobara gets motherfucking. Well, I mean, y'all saw what happened to her. My man Toto shows up, bro. And Mahito out here fighting with some goddamn hammers. Like he playing whack-a-mole. But he the only one getting whacked. I ain't gonna lie. They in this damn subway. Paul, oh, that was crazy. Zesty counter. Anyways, they in this damn hallway. This man Mahito shooting cursed spirits out of his stomach and stuff. Oh, hell no. Bro, get that nasty ass shit. What the f is that in the hallway? Bro, they got this big ass worm chasing my guy. Got the worm from SpongeBob in here, the Alaskan bull worm. This dude might told him made some blades. They end up going outside. Now, when they go outside, he sent this big ass to fight my man Toto. Now, I'm not gonna hold you. My man Toto beat the shit out of all three of these. 
I don't know why you thought my man Toto didn't have the hands to beat these whack ass curses. But whole time that's happening, I felt bad for my man Yuji. He was over here getting his ass beat. Bro getting his ass beat so bad, bro. It was a 100 sign up there. And I ain't talking about game featuring Drake, nigga. I'm talking about 100% ass whooping he was getting. Oh, hold on. My man Yuji said, F that. He grabbed the 100 sign and threw it at Mahito. Oh, nah. He kind of going crazy right now. So Toto and Yuji is down here realizing, bro, that they got to put that motherfucking pain in on Mahito. So you know my man Toto and Yuji, they get the clapping. So Mahito's tired of getting his ass beat with the clapping shit. He ends up cutting Toto's whole arm off, bro. And this man Toto mad as shit. So we go to rush at this dude Mahito and hit him with the black flash. And I ain't talking about Wally West in the CW joint. I'm talking about black flash. So Mahito doing a ball. He done turned to some nasty ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. What the f This motherfucker. Uh, something off Kaiju number eight. I'm just saying. My man Yuji not going for none of that though. He was putting that motherfucking pain in on Mahi. Oh, never mind. He got stiffed arm in the ground like a Madden game. Damn. So once Yuji and Mahito are fighting and Mahito is used to this dude Toto doing the clap thing, he ends up hitting Mahito with the fake. He acts like he's about to clap at him the whole time. He's Mega Man right now. Bro, it's Shanks. I don't know why the f he tried to do that. Clap with a nub. You knew that wasn't going to work, Mahito. But it was enough for Yuji to get him with the Mickey. Mick, 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 Mick. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Hit him with one big nasty joint. Hit him with the right hook that would put a 999 on one of those big ass boxing games. Seen this video recently where this white girl was walking past this black guy. He almost knocked the Sonic coins out of her. Had no spatial awareness, bro. And that's exactly what happened with Mahito. He beat the shit out of Mahito like OJ Simpson. Damn, that was crazy. OJ Simpson just passed too. If the glove don't fit, he must have quit. And Mahito, after that ass whipping, you ain't shit. You feel me, bars? All right, my fault. But Toto and Yuji put in the beats by Dre on this of Mahito is exactly why we have to put it in one of the most devious jumpings ever. Speaking of the most devious jumping ever, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I know this isn't an anime, but we couldn't do a video like this without talking to at least one jumping from event. So my man Allen was out here about to get his ass beat by some Viltra mics. First off, he eating these nasty ass bugs. I mean, he with his girl, he enjoying a good meal. <laughs> I'm not going to hate on him or nothing because this girl kind of bad. But what the f*** is you eating though, bro? I I'm just saying. Bro out here eating some creepy crawlies. I ain't going to hold you, bro. That is not gummy worms, nigga. What the f*** are those? All right, let me stop hating on him anyways. Anyways, in the middle of eating, bro, the Viltra might show up and put a big ass hole in his diner. Now, his girl almost got sucked out to oblivion. But they took Allen instead. I mean, you know, Allen doesn't want to turn up or actually fight back. He don't want his girl to die. <laughs> and I feel him. Bro, they started passing this guy Allen around like volleyball, bro. God damn, why did he backhand him with a fist like that? So they asking this dude, Allen, huh, where is Omni Man? Bro, I don't know where that at. Do I look like I'm his keeper? You look, do I look like I got Nolan in my back pocket, bro? I don't know where this nigga's at. Why y'all do y'all job, bro? Out here talking about where Omni Man at? Got him off nerves, man. That's why I can't fuck with y'all, nigga. Free thug. Oh. God damn, nigga, you gonna slide the shit out of me, Steve Harvey? You gonna shut your ass up? Now we asked you a simple ass question, mother. Where is Omni Man at? Don't look at your girl, nigga. cause I'm gonna penetrate that later if you. Don't you say shit about my girl, nigga. big black. Oh, I know he not talking to us. Bro, when they proceeded to beat the shit out of this dude, Allen, I mean, boom, boom. Bro, they started hitting double team moves on him, tackling him into each other, bro. They're just flying around. Oh, my God. Did he do a double knee into a knee? Bro, they're beating it up in a quadratic formula, bro. You got to find the fucking slope the way that they was beating this nigga up in different angles. Pass the, oh, my God. Me, 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 me. Bro, they punched this nigga so hard his eyeball came out. Oh, nah. Steve Harvey just cut his arm off and then smacked him with it like a Dark Souls club. Damn, he getting his ass beat and he can see everything because his eyeball's still there. Did they just impale this nigga? Bro, they got his guts hanging out. Oh my God. Bro, you look like some felt pasta right now, bro. Your intestines is everywhere. Yo, Alan, is you good? Hell no, I'm not good because somebody called an ambulance. Damn, bro. My name Alan need an ambulance. Who in the ambulance? <laughs> All right, my fault. That was crazy. 
So my man Allen basically went through one of the most vicious jumpings I've ever seen in Invincible, bro. But it's okay because he got a Zenkai boost. My man out here living his best life like Super Saiyan Goku. I'm not going to ult you. <sighs> is what I would like to say, bro. But uh, apparently... That nigga is not Goku, bro. He's going to get his ass beat a lot of more times in his show to be prepared for that. But, I mean, at least he swoke the shit now. Bro, big as hell. I mean, look at Allen right now, bro. Got these big-ass muscles. Bro, out here looking like he was on the PDs. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. My, <laughs> motherfucker is a strong man. Motherfucker Allen moving like Mark Henry. All right, my fault. Moving on, we got to talk about <sighs> a new show, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. This is Tokyo Avengers with swag now i'm not gonna hold you for these next two we gotta be chill with the footage y'all we're gonna use panels and, and, and some goddamn mind with panels some goddamn steel images for the anime because you know youtube be tripping with the copyrights but i'm just saying yo any place chill i'm just saying yo, i'm not using your anime look 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 i'm not i swear to god but we gotta talk about windbreaker bro my man haru beat the f out of these niggas these reverse jumpings are devious first episode he off screen these niggas right here bro beat them so bad they didn't even put it on camera off screen these bro this nigga got a hoop earring and he think he's sinbad bro out here moving like dennis rodman got piercings in thought he was tough and he got his ass beat that's what you get for out here looking sweet boy you diabetic ass fit all right my fault that was crazy so he run up on these niggas. Dan Alloway with a girl. She's talking spicy to him. Mother I got eggs in this basket. Dude out there looking at them eggs like, <laughs> he ain't worried about the eggs in your basket, shorty. He worried about your eggs. You feel me? Motherfucker on straight grape timing, bro. You got to be careful with the dudes like that because they are the type that just because you don't want to give it up don't mean they not going to take it, bro. <laughs> you can't trust no niggas like this. They got straight Epstein vibes. Had her in the dark alley all. Bunched up on the wall and shit. So my man Haru come in because these motherfuckers acting tough and they not. Grab his shoulder. Come here. Mickey. Straight rock this dude. All screen him. Now, he spin the block later on these same dudes, right? Bro, walk up to him. We got bro with the damn hoop earring. <laughs> so you gonna beat my ass earlier and think that we weren't gonna spin the block like a Rubik's Cube. <sighs> this ain't no fucking game, nigga. Bro, do you see these knuckles? I'm about to put all five of these in your face. Don't you mean eight? Because like two of the knuckles is on your thumbs. Unless you're going to hit me with the side of your fist. I, I don't think that's going to work out, bro. Also, you too fucking sweet to put hands on me, bitch. Didn't I tell you to remember my name, bro? It's Big Haru, mother Big foreign. Don't you mean foreign? The fuck is Big foreign? Oh, you talking about a Lamborghini truck? Man, man, shut your ass up. So these dudes is out here. He beats the brakes out of these niggas. Unfortunately, they cut his ankle. I'm not going to lie. Bro was out here thinking that he was about to put in pain, bro. But pain was put in on him. He out here trying to defend this girl. Getting his damn ankle sliced up like he a bad with an anklet on. And because of that, he couldn't defend her. But don't worry. The gang is here. Da -da 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 -da. And by gang, I mean foreign, bro. The foreign crew show up and they put the brakes on these niggas. And I'm not talking about taking your car into the mechanic shop. Bro, these niggas was make it, make it, make it. Look at this big nigga right here, bro. He look like he should be playing for the Knicks. Oh, about 6'9, bro. That's Nikola Jokic right there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So these big ass niggas is in the hallway fighting these dudes, bro. I'm not going to hold you. They was putting in too much pain. Motherfucker got the whole gang with him. I mean, phone him. Like this nigga from Chirac. They in the damn alleyway beating the shit out of all of these fake ass thugs. Ain't none of these niggas hard, man. All these niggas are soft as shit. And that's exactly what he showed them. By boot, boot, boot blocking all of them niggas. Couldn't beat me, bro. I wouldn't let none of these niggas beat me up like that. That's just me. You feel me? I'm just saying. I do me, and I wouldn't let none of them niggas do nothing to me. You feel me? That's just me. Big sin. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I probably would have got my ass beat, y'all. That nigga Haru is uh, he putting that pain in. 